Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamlin and this is Sewn on the Tine. And I'm here today to share five gorgeous new sewing pattern releases with you. Five new patterns that have really, really caught my eye and many of which I've actually already purchased and sent off to be printed. I'm loving these patterns. Just before we get started, on my mannequin, because people always ask and I forget to mention this, on my mannequin is the Vienne blouse by Size Me Sewing. That is a collaboration project with Northern Soul Sisters and Little Miss So and So. That review video will be coming to the Northern Soul Sisters channel very soon. I'm wearing my Tilly and the Buttons Mabel top. Again, this was a Northern Soul Sisters project. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, do go and follow my Northern Soul Sisters channel. It is a collaborative channel between me and two of my very best friends, Rachel and Ruan. We do lots of really fun things and share lots of pattern reviews and fabric inspiration and makes and all of that sort of stuff. So and lots of fun along the way. So do go and follow that. So yes, this is just made in a viscose chalet from Rainbow Fabrics. I think it's a nobody's child dead stock fabric, if I remember rightly. So should we get started on my five favourite new pattern releases? Number one is the Malibu shirt by Stay Stitch Pattern Company. I have been obsessing sorry i was just looking down because for some reason i've been calling it the miami shirt and it's not it's definitely the malibu shirt i've been obsessing over this since i first saw sneak little peeks of it on instagram just when the pattern was in the very first stages of development i loved this so this pattern is a cropped collared shirt with a faux twist at the front, which is the bit that I absolutely love. It's got pockets and you can either put a flap on those or no flap. It's got a back yoke, which is always really cute because you can go for some sort of colour blocking or you can have a little bit of fun if you've got a striped fabric and you can change the direction of the stripes there. It's really cute to have a back yoke. And it's got little faux cuffs as well. It has an oversized breezy fit, which is really lovely, a nice relaxed, cool shirt. It is a chic and unique twist on the classic button up shirt. So yeah, I absolutely love this. I've seen beautiful versions in linen or like a linen look fabric. I've seen a gorgeous double gauze version. I think this is going to be perfect for summer and beyond because I feel like you could layer this up over a t-shirt or a long sleeve t-shirt or a bodysuit. So it doesn't just have to be worn on its own. It could definitely be layered up. In terms of sizing then, this pattern comes in sizes 00 to 34. So that goes from a 31 inch bust to a 61 inch bust, a 24 inch waist to a 54 inch waist, and a 34 inch hip to a 64 inch hip. For fabric suggestions, it's for light to medium weight woven fabrics. So I've mentioned a few already. You could go for cottons and cotton blends, shirting fabrics, linen, linen look fabrics, cotton lawn, chambray. You could go for viscose if you wanted a little bit more of a drapey look. You could go for a double gauze, have I said that? <laughs> a sea sucker. So many lovely options and I've got lots of fabrics in my stash just ready and waiting to be made into the Malibu shirt. This pattern comes as a PDF only. It is £15.60 in GBP and it's available on the Stay Stitch Pattern Company Etsy shop. All of the patterns will be linked down below. This is one that I grabbed as soon as it was put on sale and it's already been sent off to print and I'm very excited for it to arrive. Pattern number two that I am loving right now is again another one that I saw sneak peeks of on Instagram when it was not even fully ready to be launched into the world. <laughs> it was just in the very early stages and it was being teased and again, I had to have it as soon as it was released. So this is the Suncatcher dress by Handmade Millennial. So Handmade Millennial has released this pattern as her very first pattern on her own. I think she has at least one or two patterns under the Know Me brand by Mimi G, but this is her first individual release and it is absolutely stunning. So it's got a striking V-shaped open back it's got an angled bust detail, which is really, really lovely. It's got a flowing gathered skirt and you can make it in either a mini or a midi length. 
It's got a very slight high-low hem, which is cute. And it's got an option for bra cup inserts as well, which will be great because you definitely wouldn't be able to wear a standard bra with this because of how low the back is. So if you want something, which I probably would, then I might go for that bra cup insert feature. It's got adjustable straps that you use sliders for. It's got pockets, which is awesome in a dress. And it comes in different bust cup options. So there's an AB cup, a CD cup and a DD cup option, which is great in terms of sizing. It also comes with a full sew along video with it and it's classed as an easy to intermediate pattern. So it sounds like it's approachable for beginner sewists and beyond. For fabric recommendations then, it is for lightweight woven fabrics with drape. You definitely want that drape for this style of dress to make that skirt hang really, really beautifully and to just skim and then flow out. So things like a viscose, a viscose chalet, a crepe de chine, a really soft lightweight linen or linen viscose blend could work, a cotton lawn could work, but you definitely want things with lots of drape. This is available as a PDF pattern only. It is 13 US dollars. Sorry, these prices are in different currencies. I'm just going as what they came up as on the website. Hope that's okay. <laughs> In terms of sizing then, this ranges from a 32 to a 63 inch bust, a 26 to a 58 inch waist, and a 34 to a 65 inch hip. This is one again that I've already purchased and has been sent off to print. I absolutely love it. And I actually purchased a fabric yesterday, which is going to be perfect for this dress. So the third pattern that's caught my attention and I think is really, really cute is the So Love Patterns Mia dress. This is actually available as a top and a dress, so you can make it in different variations. And it's a really beautiful dress that can be maxi length or mini length. And like I said, it can also be a top. It's got this really lovely sweetheart neckline and it gathers into a bust tie, which gives it a really beautiful shape around the bust area. And then attached to that, it's got either a gathered skirt or a gathered bodice, depending on which variation you are making. Depending on the fabric that you use, you could definitely dress this up or dress it down for more casual vibes. You know, you could pop on some trainers, make it in a slightly more stable fabric or something a bit plainer. You could have a really casual look, maybe a double goals or something would be really cute, but you could also really glam this up. You could go for something quite shimmery or like a satin backed crepe or something like that, something silky, put on some high heels, some statement jewelry, and you're ready to go to any event, I think. This is aimed at intermediate sewists, so there might just be a couple of details on this that make it a little bit trickier. I haven't looked into detail of what those features might be, but I think this could be quite approachable for adventurous beginners as well, so don't be put off. In terms of sizing, this is where it comes unstuck a little bit, I'm afraid. The size range goes from an A to an H, which is a UK 6 to 20, so it's not the widest size range. That takes you from a 31 and a half inch bust to a 45 and a half inch bust, 24 inch waist to a 38 inch waist, 33 and a half inch hip to a 47 and a half inch hip. So it's quite a small size range and I'm really hoping that Soul of Patterns do expand that at some point to make their patterns more accessible to a wider range of bodies. In terms of fabric recommendations for this pattern, it's ideal for light to medium weight woven fabrics. Again, something with drape would be ideal, but you could use cotton, cotton blends, viscose, tensile, crepe, rayon, chali, all of those sorts of things would be ideal for this dress. It's available in PDF format only and it's £11 GBP on the Soul of Patterns website. Right, pattern number four that I am loving and I'm a little bit obsessed with this. I haven't actually purchased this one yet, but I really think it needs to become mine. This is the Tate Romper and this is a collaboration pattern between Small Museum and Jessie Lou's Closet. I became aware of this on Instagram after spotting it on somebody's stories, Nick Knack Makes on Instagram. I spotted it on her stories and just became utterly obsessed with this pattern. Part of me thinking, will it actually suit me? But I just love it so much that I think I just need to try it because it's amazing. <laughs> so this is the perfect throw on garment to instantly look and feel chic. It has got an empire waist. So it's a romper pattern, uh, like almost dungarees pattern. It's an all in one. So you've got this detail at the top where you've got an empire waist. You've got 
these little straps which are really cute and this quite narrow panel across the bust area and then from that you've got a gathered in pant section and just got these huge flowing pants that attach to this small bust section at the top. Ah. Oh. It's amazing. I really, really love it. It's got a dropped crotch fit and significant ease throughout the pattern. So if that's not your vibe, then maybe this one's not for you. I do think in the instructions, it talks you through sizing down though. So don't let that put you off again. The pattern also features an invisible zip at one side and it's got pockets, which is perfect. It's aimed at adventurous beginners. I guess the adventurous side of things comes from putting in an invisible zip, although there are so many amazing tutorials out there for invisible zips, one of which is by my lovely friend Rachel. I'll link to it down below. She's done an awesome tutorial recently on installing an invisible zip. In terms of sizing for this pattern then, it's got a great size range. It comes in sizes zero to 34. So in terms of a waist measurement, that's 24 up to 54 inch waist and a hip measurement of 34 up to 65 inch hip. It doesn't give a bust measurement on the website. It also doesn't give any fabric requirements, which I thought was a little bit strange. However, it will be designed for woven fabrics. I can tell that by the design of the pattern and things like cottons, cotton blends, viscoses, that sort of thing, chambray, lightweight linen, all of those would be ideal for this romper. I think this is an incredible pattern. I love the way it's been styled on all of the images and I think I have to have it. It's a PDF only pattern available via the Small Museum website and it's 16 US dollars for this one. And the final pattern that I am loving and that I want to share with you today is something a little bit different because it's not a pattern as such. This is one of the new patterns from By Hand London and it's a draft it yourself pattern. Now, when I've mentioned this before, a couple of people have commented that the draft it yourself thing is not for them and I totally get that. There's definitely going to be negatives to this kind of pattern. You are going to have to put in a bit more work than you would with a standard pattern. However, for some people that is ideal. It opens up a world of possibilities. You can do so many different variations and really tailor it to your own tastes. But not only that, you can tailor it to your own body and it is a truly size inclusive pattern because any body can make it to their measurements. Nobody is excluded. And in any normal size range for a pattern, there is going to be some exclusions at either end of the scale. With this, it's a truly size inclusive pattern, which is awesome. So let's go into some of the details. This is the Lucy dress by By Hand London. It's described as the quintessential summer dress. Outside my windows right now, it is torrential rain. <laughs> so it seems quite strange to be thinking about the quintessential summer dress, but hopefully we'll get some sunshine back soon. It has two bandeau bodice options. It's got four interchangeable sleeve and strap designs, and then it's got a voluminous three-tiered gathered skirt. It has infinite variations for the skirt part of it because you can adapt the length of the tiers. You can also adapt how many tiers you add. So many possibilities. The bodice is shaped and it's got horizontal bust seam to add to that shaping. The bodice back options, you could either go for a classic panelled back, you can go for a tie back, which I absolutely love, or you can attach the skirt with an elasticated back just to give a bit of a feature there. The strap options, you could go for an elasticated puff sleeve, you could go for spaghetti rouleau straps, which are really, really cute. You could go for a wider flat strap, perhaps if you want to cover bra straps, that might be good for you. Or you could go for a frill strap, which again is a really cute feature. The pattern itself is designed for light to medium weight woven fabrics. So all of the things I've been talking about so far in this video, cottons, cotton blends, seersucker, gauze, viscose, sateen, chambray, lightweight linens, linen viscose blends, those sorts of things are going to be ideal for this dress. Again, you can go for something a bit more casual or you could go for something a bit more fancy by using something like a brocade or a jacquard would be really, really lovely. Maybe a satin or a satin backed crepe, stunning. The pattern itself is nine pounds GBP, which I think is great value and it's available on the By Hand London website. So what do you think? They are the five patterns that I'm absolutely 
loving right now. Two of which I've bought and have printed already. One of which I need to buy ASAP because that romper is just, it's just in here and I can't stop thinking about it. <laughs> And then definitely the other two dresses I think I will give a go to at some point depending on what occasion I have to make it for. So do let me know down below which one of those patterns is your favourite. Have you actually made any of those yet? They're all really new and current patterns as of the start of August 2023 which is where we are now. So if you've made any of these already then you are super speedy but do let me know and if you've got any hints and tips to share please do. I hope you've really enjoyed this video and hearing about some of the new pattern releases on the block. If you've got a new pattern that's just been released that you're loving right now also let me know that down below I'd love to hear it. If you don't already subscribe please click that button and if you've enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're all really, really well and I'll see you again soon in my next video. Happy sewing, bye. You could use a viscose if you wanted a little bit more of a drapey look. <laughs> drapey look? Yep. I think she has a couple of patterns under the Nomi brand but, uh, with Mimi. It's got a dropped cop.